Welcome back to another episode of the Waiting in Queue podcast brought to you by the Games Freaks channel. Uh, I'm your host, uh, Derek. As oh, you're, always. Not, you're not doing your thing? Funny Spartan. That's uh, that's my handle, I guess. Um, obviously, I'm here with uh, my good pal, Connie. Connor? Connie. <laughs> yeah, Connie's the name. Connie. Connie's the name. Hey, Connor's yo. the trade. So, Why did we not start calling him that earlier, actually? I don't know. Uh, we used to call him, like, Conboy. All right. Yeah, Conboy was a big one. Uh, it's con and then when I had the whole pregnancy scare, there was the chatty daddy. Chatty daddy. Uh, I was becoming the chatty daddy. Uh, yeah. uh, also, today we are uh, in the presence of uh, my brother again. He's uh, he's uh, wanted to come on the show again, and we were happy to bring him on. Yeah, thanks for having me back. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun the last time. Yeah, we uh, we it's didn't like get a, into the the crazy stuff yet. But. Reminiscing, kind yeah. of. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Well, like. I think you you wanted to talk about it, but there was no we didn't like prep for it, right? Or yeah, like you didn't have an idea of what you really wanted to start talking about. Um, yeah. So yeah, and then we definitely talked about you coming back on to do something like that, and that's kind of what this episode's for. Yeah. Yeah, we wanted to uh, dive into conspiracies, right? Things like that. Yeah, that conspiracy theories. The just, deep, the, just, the just depths of our minds. The depths of our <laughs> minds, yeah. Because we have a lot of these talks just like when we're like eating lunch or we're sitting up upstairs, and then we're like, we're always like, man, should have recorded. We this. should have been recording these. Yeah. So this also goes with along the lines of, uh, uh, man, our uh, our childhood should have been a TV show. Yeah. Right. <laughs> what channel do you think <clears throat> our, our childhood lives would be on M- mtv they probably MTV. MTV. yeah MTV. mtv's a good fit back in the old mtv would be like scheduled right before um 16 and pregnant and then it would be our show and then it would be <laughs> jersey shore well they, i think i think we couldn't have done a show because child protective services or somebody <laughs> that some agency would have come and be like wait well, where are the adults well, that is that? true there was <laughs> Yeah, we're kind of like a Charlie Brown cartoon where there was never really any adults around, but when they were around, nobody really paid attention. You definitely could not understand what the adults said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so, did you, have you thought of any ones, anything that really just uh, is just in your mind, Alex? All right, so, first you always of all, bring them up usually, do you so. guys remember when I, w- when we were in... Middle school, high school. What were those like Nutter Butter bars? Alex Nut- Feed? Nutter Butter? <laughs> yeah, you guys yeah. called them Alex Feed. <laughs> yeah. Because I ate so much of them. Which, by the way, I didn't know you guys ever said that. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, oh, yeah. I did not know. <laughs> Alex Feed? I'd like, I'd like hide in the pantry and eat the whole box of them. <laughs> yeah. No, we would we would legitimately not say Nutter Butters and we would be like, yo, can you go give me some Alex Feed? And then like, <laughs> somebody would bring one down. But Nutter, I, I get, it's not Butterfinger, right? Butterfinger's no. the other. Yeah, Butterfinger's that hard. I haven't had any of in a long time. Yeah. It's Nutter Butter, right? That's what it is? Yeah. Okay. Um, Like it comes in a pack of two? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so they got like two okay. of the, the brick bars. How many of those did you guys eat? In my lifetime? In my life? I mean, yeah. like, compared to me, like, in a percentage. Oh. <laughs> compared uh, to you. Probably, like, a healthy amount of. <laughs> there is no like, healthy amount yeah, of. Yeah, I was going to say. Is that. No, 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 no. No, like, eat it how it's supposed to be eaten, mm. which is like. One at a time. One at a time. Maybe like, is like one a day too much? Uh, I mean, like that's probably like the, yeah. It's probably too much. Yeah. I don't think I did one a day. I definitely. Probably, I probably did like maybe two a weekend. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I ate a lot more than that. But yeah. Yeah, we go in there to get them, and they're gone. <laughs> we immediately <laughs> know who ate them all. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> So you guys would agree I have more experience eating Nutter Butters than you guys. Yeah, you're far, far is that, better is at, that us <coughs> at eating a Nutter Butter. Is there, is there experience you need for there eating? There is for what I'm going to ask you guys. Do oh, you guys know, where is this going? Do you guys know there's a better side to a Nutter Butter? Okay. What? <laughs> what? what do you mean um, there's a better oh, side I know, to a Nutter I know butter. exactly what he's talking about. So you're talking about like when you first open it, the like there's kind of like a – a thicker side and like a thinner side yes. with like how the chocolate is distributed. I know exactly Wait, what you're talking about. Wait, are you airy on one side? Yes. Are you saying from like this side to this side or from bottom to top? This side to this side, like the, the ends. What? Yeah, there, yeah there's yeah. like they, a slight thickness. One's a, one side is a little thicker than the other side. Mm-hmm. 
Now, which side do you think is better? I I think the thicker side because it was just more. Mm. F- I thought it was more fluff. There was more chocolate. There was I more- never noticed a difference in the sides. That's what I mean. You're inexperienced. I you, I guess I am. Yeah. I guess I. I think you're right. Because. You know when we said when we said conspiracy theories, I didn't think we were going to talk about like no. Well, this, this is fine. This is fine. I'm just saying this is this something is fine. that came to mind. <clears throat> this but is something you really needed to you address. Think, you think yes. they, you think because they do that on purpose, or do you think that's because like the machine that makes them I'm like, sure starts on one side mm-hmm. and then as it goes through the conveyor belt? It, I always like, imagined it, it like going through a roller at some point, and it like didn't. It would like. Maybe like the starting side or the mm-hmm. ending side didn't quite get the same amount of pressure as the, but they're all that way. Like, right? Yeah, something because like you'll notice on like, makes them that way. On like, like the thin side, the like wafer cracker is like slightly just like exposed, just see, a wee bit. And I think I the, wish we I had one to look at. Right? I should have well, brought one. Yeah, you should have brought one. Um, or the prep. Yeah. Now, <laughs> the the side that's slightly thinner, I think, is much better. You like the thin side. Yeah, yes. I'd have to eat but, one again to see what yeah, I did. I, I, I know I would like see it, and that's how I would choose which side to start eating from. Really? I just ate yeah, the see, nut. Yeah, that's just, exactly right. Like, I would I, just I, go I, like this. Guys, <laughs> yeah. Uh, have you guys no ever thought. had a tornado at, um, at oh, a, like gas a gas station? station? Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, so my favorite ones were always, are always the... Um, the uh, French toast and uh, sausage. Yeah, you're a big fan of those. Um, so when I you know pull one of those out, the sausage is not perfectly centered in the roll. <laughs> so one, it's like slightly sticking out on one side, and like one side is just the roll. I always like to start with the side what? the sausage is sticking out because because I had an experience when I had this sure. experience of. Uh, I just it's eat like it. it's like it's like eating a burger. Um, you know, as you eat a burger, it'll start to like push out the back unless you have one of the like steaks or you. When you eat it, you're supposed to put. You're supposed yeah, to pinch. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or but have it, a steak. But yeah, but happens. then it comes out the sides. It does, it True. Doesn't, no matter what you do. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're it's getting, it's, it's, it's a mess either way. Yeah. But like on the tornado, uh, I would if I ate where the sausage is more sticking out, it would s- start to slowly push it to you know the back where it would start to fill it does that do that. Yeah. I was like, that makes sense. That's, that's that maybe a better strategy. What if it's strategy. made that way? Um, because sometimes <sighs> sometimes they are pretty. Even sometimes it's like way well, off. It's I, just I don't I, know if those are made by a fact like in a. Well, yeah, they I think probably they're just frozen. warm those up, don't they? Yeah, yeah they're, they're just frozen re- and they put them on the like the hot dog warmers. Yeah, mm. it is a gas station. I, I was giving them way too much credit. <laughs> yeah, there. I, I am convinced that high school food was prepping us for gas station Dude, food because they had the exact food same really thing. good. It's a hundred percent gas station food. It is. It's it's got it. So yeah. Mm. yeah. There's so many things that we ate. Like the pizzas or or the the cheeseburger the cheeseburger Cheeseburgers. is the best example of it being close to hot to the gas station food because it's the exact same patty in a gas station cheeseburger. Mm-hmm. So I have a lot of theories on schools teaching people how to just be regular workers and not like anything above that. So maybe they're prepping them for the gas station food. I think I they think are. That might I do on, top, on top of it's probably just cheaper all around. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean. A lot of those kids that graduated in our class are eating gas station food. Derek. Yeah, well, uh, I remember the first time I ate a gas station uh, burger. I go, this tastes exactly like what I've been eating in high school. And yeah. the sad part was, I love those cheeseburgers <laughs> in high school. <laughs> yeah, I never, I never disliked the meals at school. Neither did I. There was, I was like a couple people that like complain about it, and I'm like, this doesn't seem that bad. Maybe yeah. it's because like. We didn't really have anyone cooking at home very much, so that's it was, true. It was like yeah. it was a just, lot of frozen food. Yeah, yeah, exactly. When I was here, at least, mm, we yeah, were eating yeah. a lot of frozen food. The occasional roast, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, uh, or Dad's sloppy joes every once in a while. It's the yep. only thing he ever made. Yeah, it's, I think that's the only thing he knows how to made. That and uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. actually, I don't think I have seen him make anything else. That I, is, I I've seen him like make a pizza for himself. Not telling and, well, like Alex well, yeah, and I okay, are in the kitchen, like, uh, like, uh, like well, yeah. so what's for dinner? <laughs> ah, well, I'm making a pizza for myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like, Dad, we're starving. We're, <laughs> yeah. we're five. Pizza rolls, which pizza? Yeah. On the food topic, um, Connor, do you prefer pizza rolls in the oven or microwave? Oven, a hundred percent. Obviously, however, there's no one that wouldn't pick that, right? Yeah, but however, I will tell you right now. 
if I have a microwave, I'm putting them in the microwave. <laughs> you're Even gonna... though I know I like them more in the oven. Okay. Yeah, you're just impatient with uh, it. Yeah, like I'm lazy. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I mean, there's eat. value in the time that, that it takes. Oh, sure. There's sure. massive value because them coming out of the, uh, what's it called? A microwave? The nuke. Get nu- the nuke? nuke yeah. Not good. They're like soggy. Oh, uh, yeah. It's all soggy and See, wet. <laughs> I kind of yeah. prefer them so, that way. I don't like them in the oven. You prefer them that way, Katie? I, I prefer them in the microwave. Was say that. Well, Katie, so when it comes to food, Katie is just upside down. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> don't she, don't listen to listen, her. Listen to this. Katie warms up her salsa. For like eating chips and salsa, she warms up the salsa. I don't know if that would be that bad of an idea. I mean, I it's, wanna, it's I, really, I, though. but I feel I like think, a majority of people are just grabbing the cold salsa and eating cold salsa. Yeah, yeah if you're I, not going to put your pizza rolls in the oven, you're definitely not going to put. You're not gonna yeah, what what are you doing? Like, you're putting them in the microwave, Katie, but you put but you take the time to put your salsa in the microwave. I do. She's wow. wild, man. Well, apparently, time isn't her issue. With um, she also the wait no, you said you like the. Uh, I like you the like softiness and like like the, like the yeah. Uh, yeah. chewiness of the uh, uh, pizza rolls in the microwave. I hate it. What I hate about pizza rolls is that the outside cools and then the inside will still kill your tongue. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like a hot. Well, that's like why, hot like, if, if you like, um, I mean, if you microwave them, you can kind of squish it so the sides open up, and then you can use that to kind of like yeah. cool it. I have a lot Derek's of pizza a, rolls. Experience. See, now Derek has a lot of pizza roll experience. That's true. He's That's a true. Pizza but Derek, guy. what what do you prefer the the oven? Prefer or? I, I definitely prefer the oven, and uh, you get yeah. a you get a sauce with it. Oh man, it's so good. A sauce. Ranch. You can do ranch, honey mustard. You yeah. can do like anything, and it sounds unusual for it's like pizza, but it's it's good. It's but but it's yeah. When you do it, uh microwave sauce not the way to go you just eat it there um i would always get pizza rolls to eat that's uh, true out of town like that was my meal yeah but your meal is swapped to um massive mashed potatoes from bob evans (laughs) containers and uh that's it yeah Mm. i have seen this guy go to the store (laughs) and buy the bob evans mashed potato containers and i'm like yo i'm like yo you get you get anything else he's like no (laughs) i'm like hang on a second wait 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 (laughs) we go back to the hotel room and this motherfucker warms up a big ass family size thing of buttery mashed potatoes and he will sit on the bed or chair or whatever watch tv and eat that whole fucking container for dinner. I'm like, what the don't, fuck? Yeah, that, I don't know if I could do that. I think I'd want something else too. But, yeah! Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, before we move on, I'm pretty sure you at least used to like them in the microwave more. Because uh, yeah, I did until until I started using the sauces more when it's mm. um, baked. baked. And I was like, this is, this is un- Beatable, because and and part of the reason why I like to microwave more was also time that you could kind of save. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say if you denied it, I had proof, but apparently <laughs> we don't need to go there. But this guy, remember, I this sent, guy came prepared. I sent a meme to you a while ago that had like, I don't know what it was. Two different women, there were two different pictures of the same woman, and one looked like a hooker, and one looked like Just an like attractive person. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. and it was like some someone put on like pizza rolls in the oven on one side and pizza rolls in the microwave <laughs> on the other. <laughs> and so obviously the one with the oven is the good looking yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, Derek sent back that he thought they had it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's backwards. That's yeah. not right. Right. This yeah. wasn't that long ago either. No, no, that was very recent. Right, it's right. It's like, um... Like, if I have pizza rolls at home, I'll probably just still throw them in. I'm like Connor. I'll just throw them in the microwave. I yeah. got to have some. I got yeah. I think it's just because I'm, I'm impatient. I just want to eat. Yeah. And, if like, I, pizza I rolls for either. me was – it's such a perfect, like, little thing. Like, if we're playing video games, it's just – you pop it in your mouth. You have a good time. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I've never been a That's huge said. fan of them just for the fact that, like – the microwave grosses me out with them, but like oh, the when I, if I awful. have them, like if I have them and I have nothing else to eat, I'm like, okay, I'll eat pizza rolls. Okay, when you were here all the time and we had a, a, a variety of frozen foods, what did you eat the most? Variety here? of frozen yeah. food. What yeah. was our variety of frozen food? Hot pockets, Hot pockets pizza rolls, pockets, frozen pizzas, frozen pizzas. Frozen pizza. Yeah, exactly. We all had... of it pizza based. 
we remember had the swans the swans um pizza Sw- rolls i don't remember the swans <laughs> pizza rolls it was that good but mm. we had breakfast sandwiches here oh yeah we would have those what are you guys um, talking about usually the like sh- a, swans would make breath they would you guys got breakfast sandwiches no. from swan you we, do you remember that mm-hmm. yeah because we must have been too easy busy eating the fucking nutter butters i think so because i would eat those <laughs> I also, I, what I would do a lot here is I would take tortillas and make a cheese quesadilla in the microwave. Oh, yeah, yeah, That yeah. was, like, my signature here. Uh, but it was, but it was, I would put so much cheese on it that when I put it in the microwave, it would be so goddamn greasy that you couldn't <laughs> eat it all. I like to, uh, you know. That doesn't seem like something you would do. Uh, yeah. I like That's making I uh, nachos. Throw a bunch of chips down. Oh, yeah. Throw cheese yep. on top. Over, yeah, we did that a lot, too. I forgot about that. That was a good one. I still do that at home. Really? Yeah. But really? now I add salsa, sour cream, and a little bit of like I'll cook some meat. That uh, when we usually do it, Lauren does like a whole thing where she makes a bunch of meat, and then uh, yeah, was, yeah, we eat it that way too. Huh? Cheese just isn't cheese alone is just not cutting it anymore. No, no. Even when I make quesadillas, it's like I gotta have something with it. You know, <laughs> usually like little jalapenos, maybe maybe a little sour cream. It is weird because when you're a kid, when you're a kid, it's all like you just want cheese or you just want. Oh yeah, I love cheese. It's weird how you yeah, get you, older and yeah, you start you, wanting different stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, well, your taste buds. I think your uh, taste buds change every like was it ten? Three, it's either it, four or seven years or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I think it's around that. It's because I thought it was like it's five or ten. So it's. I mean, it's I weird. I, I mean, allegedly. how long have we been around Mitchell and he still leaves a bad taste in your mouth every time <laughs> you see him? <laughs> Uh, how long have we known that guy? I've technically okay, well, lo- actually, known him longer because I well, no, so did you? Because we we were in elementary, elementary school, school together before he moved, and I don't think he even remembers that. No, do you do you guys know that? You guys remember that Mitchell only he came over to hang out with me first. Yeah, with the new houses. Yep. Yes, mm-hmm. and then and then eventually he just left us. Well, <laughs> it's because it's because like you guys would go to bed early because we and then you up. would yeah, get yeah. up really early to like. To utilize the day, yeah, and we would be like, "Nah, we're, we're staying sleep, up we're as sleeping. late as possible, and we're sleeping in as long as possible." Like many times, we would get up, and you guys would still be awake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I think he just was like, "Well, these guys stay up, and I don't want to go to bed yet." Well, mm-hmm. and he was more into video games, I think. He was, yeah. He, well, like he he saw us in the next room, at least like the first time playing the video games. So he de- the next time he came over, he. Was like, oh, I'll bring mine over, because that was when he was playing. Like, I, I don't, don't even remember that. Like he, his transition. I I remember because he that. was playing video games on, like one of those big bulky TVs. Because <clears throat> uh, that was the 360 <laughs> days where you had the, the, um, the three yeah like the color jacks. the color jacks, and he would always play on oh, one yeah. of those like old TVs because. Uh, like flat screen TVs, there's a game setting that you have to turn on to turn off the like lag, the the, the delay, the latency, or whatever. And he didn't know how to. He do didn't that. know how to do that, so he would always try to convince us like, "You guys got to play it on these TVs," and we're like, "Why?" And he's like, "Well, because it, the it doesn't have a delay." We're like, "Ours don't have a delay." I remember, I thoroughly <laughs> yeah. remember because we, we showed him how to do like, it. What do you mean? There's no delay? And we're like, "Yeah, you just turn it off." He's like, "What? You can turn it off?" <laughs> That's exactly mm-hmm. what like Mitchell would be that yeah, guy. And then oh, yeah, we showed he, him, and he's like. Oh my God! Like he had no idea. <laughs> like he, he, you know the TV I'm talking like the really big ones yes, where it's yeah, like yeah, 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 and it's like, yeah. yeah. I well, I remember sure. like a long time ago, but maybe before you guys figured it out. Like I remember Connor saying something. I don't know why I remember this. I remember him saying that he doesn't like the other TVs because of the lag. Yeah, it must and, have been like right the, when there were some TVs where you you couldn't, couldn't turn it off at the time. But because gaming has started to come a long way, they yeah. were, like we have well, to add now, a game mode. Now I don't even think they have game modes. I think now there's just no latency. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So, but really, the twins are the only ones that really stayed in touch with them. And then the twins invited them here to hang out with us. And then, yeah. so you can blame the twins on Mitchell being in your guys' life. I do every time I see it. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting because, like, they don't, they don't talk to Mitchell really anymore at all. And uh, now we he, talk to him all the time. Yeah, so, like, when he, I talk to the new houses at work and I bring up the fact that, like, we're, oh, yeah, Mitchell's doing this. Like, they didn't even know Mitchell had, like, a kid mm-hmm. and all that shit. I wouldn't I wouldn't have known without it, like, yeah. other than you guys yeah. telling me. I mean, yeah. But I was like, yeah, Mitchell's coming by to drop off my power washer that one day because I saw, like, Alex and them. And they're like, what is he doing? I was like, oh, he's at home just fucking playing video games. And they're like, <laughs> oh. 
Say, say, so nothing really has changed. Yeah. No, <laughs> about the same guy. So, yeah, um, yeah. I, okay, did you have you talked about Mitchell working at um, <laughs> new insulation? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't uh, think so. no. I mean, we, we we don't really we haven't really tried to come on here to just try and outright embarrass all this of our would friends. Be this would Are be you great, kidding though. me? There's just I one was, like the, the, when, the, when he comes on, maybe we'll bring it thing. up. I hope he sees this because oh he'll see it. Does, do you remember when he watches it was? Them. Hey, you can work as much as you want. Do you remember? The, that's the only <laughs> thing I'm going to say about it. <laughs> and he, <laughs> well, he just took it the wrong what? way. I'll, yeah, I'll it, was this up. it was hilarious. I told him I was like, hey, and he's been borrowing my power, power washer. I needed it for work. Okay. Okay. And I know he's going to watch this, so <laughs> fuck you, Mitchell. And then uh, <laughs> yeah. so he he um. I text him in the morning because I was like, well, I have a power washer. And I checked to see if there was a power washer at the shop. There wasn't. Somebody has it out. I, th- I think it's here. But anyways, um, I, so I text Mitchell. I was like, I'll text Mitchell, and he can just bring it over because he's not working. He lives five, He's playing he, video games. We can see on his phone, on our phones <laughs> yeah. that he is on playing he lives, Overwatch he right now. He lives now. 10 minutes away. You know, he could just drop it off, and it, that'd be nice. I'd have my power washer back and all that. And I wasn't like being like, oh, you need to come and do it now because – you know, I know he's off. And I know he's and all that. So I text him and he's like, well, what time, what time are you off work? And I was like, well, I'm off at five. And he goes, okay, I'll bring it over at like three thirty four. And I was already kind of like, man, four is awfully close to like me being gone. I texted him at noon. So you could have brought it over at like two o'clock or something. And he's like, well, you know, Colson's got to take a nap and all that. And he didn't nap at all. Okay. He kept getting up. <laughs> so... We're getting closer to around 3.30 and no word from Mitchell. And I'm like, what is going on? And I told him he could bring it. I In my text, I said, you can bring it anytime because I didn't want to harp on him. And he took that as, I can bring it last minute. That's what he told <laughs> yeah, 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 He yeah, took yeah. it as he, like, he, as when, long as I bring it over here before 5, that's any time. And I told him I need it for work. I'm using it at work. Yeah. Dude brings it over at 4.30 brings the power washer over at 4 30 yeah. and i'm like mm. well i'm not using it now and he's like i could have i could have wasted a whole another hour at home i was like i hate you <clears throat> yeah he, he always well, waits for the last minute uh I, I, quick question do connor and i look like we're ready for a funeral i you know i thought it was interesting i'm wearing all i'm like literally all, <laughs> all black, black all blacked out today i don't i today. think so i put the hood up <laughs> um do men normally wear all black to funerals i'm pretty uh, sure that's a widow thing you guys I think that's so, right. I mean, you, you know, wear a black suit. Don't I you? get. Uh, I. I think I'll be real with you. I haven't been to very many. You funerals. definitely don't I, look dressed up. I so usually I wear know. a Hawaiian shirt when <laughs> no, I go to funerals. If I show up at a funeral like this with these gray joggers on and Christmas socks, I think that would be a bad. That'd be a bad time. Yeah. Um. Well, hey, while. Okay. You were you were harping on Mitchell for not picking you up. Do you guys remember? I was in like middle school. <laughs> Do you know where I'm going with this? I might. <laughs> Is this the burn? No, oh, no, was, no. That, that was high was, school. Yeah, that was okay. high school. That was high school. I could drive myself. Apparently, as was your guys' thought there, but <laughs> you could have drove yourself. But he well, should no. he should have drove. He should have drove. Uh, you no, I was in middle school and had like a date with a girl at a movie theater, and I in so. Keep my talking. Parents, here. My parents dropped me off with this girl, and then her parents were coming to pick her up after. And then apparently, my brother was going to pick me up after, after, um, after the movie. Right. Okay. Well, do you remember this, Derek? Uh, keep going. I'm. Okay. Did Mitchell my... have to come and get you? Well, no, no. It was a whole car full that came to get me. Okay. This so is I texted sign. them. <laughs> I texted them that we were that we needed to get picked up or I needed to get picked up because I don't know why my parents couldn't, but that was the plan. So then, then the girl, the girl's parents show up, pick her up, and I'm still sitting there. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm sitting there for another hour. <laughs> did I did I forget? And that was the time we were no, playing no. World of Warcraft. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. <laughs> um, so I sit there. It's pitch black. I'm a middle schooler. Sitting outside of the freaking parking lot of the movie theater for two hours, you know, like it was mm-hmm. it was a long, long time. And I'm just like I'm just hanging out there and I'm texting 
nobody's responding you know all these things <laughs> this happened multiple times but uh then finally two and a half hours later Derek pulls up in his red car that he has oh yeah the the Pontiac there's no seat there's no more there's no seats in there mm-hmm. it's full of people I had to ride in the trunk home <laughs> <laughs> so, was I was I there doing that I know it was at least you and that might have Tanner been a- and was, was Alex was there? Was Alex there at that time? Oh yeah, I think Alex was there. I probably yeah. wasn't there then. You think? There was anyway. a time where you guys were both there, but then at, towards the end, yeah, uh, uh, people would stop. I do remember you over. going on like a date though. Yeah, I feel like you were there. I do remember. Maybe, I don't really I do remember. remember that because we were all like, "What? That's crazy." Well, and then or, there was or a time, was it? Uh, you guys remember when I fell through the pond? And um, so I'm like, I'm, I'm frozen. Uh, and I come, the closest door was the basement door. And it, oh, no, wait. I got also locked out of the house and I fell through the pond. <laughs> I do remember that. <laughs> and I'm knocking on the window as it's, as it's below freezing outside. Yeah. Soaked. And Derek's like, hang on, I'm in the middle of this. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm literally at risk of hypothermia. Yeah, come on, come on, and everyone in the in the dude, living room. That was our priority. <laughs> come on. Wow was a big time, you know. We were we were focusing on such a such a great time back then. So Yeah. Well Well anyway, um what what uh or did you guys have any um theories that I always bring up or did, did you didn't guys that you were relied on me on, on this? Uh, what I don't know. We always talk about like the same ones. It's usually poop related, like pooping techniques. Oh, poop theories, poop theories. Oh, Those are just d- daily oh, life, Derek. daily living. The things. shit. But now, Alex, the the you say it's daily living and like normal <laughs> stuff. But every time you talk about your etiquettes for the bathroom and like how to handle like not... a shit filled fucking ass. It's always, <laughs> it's always so backwards, and everybody in the room is like, "Not at all, disagree." Yeah. You're wrong. I don't even know what you're talking about. There's never a time that everybody's like, "Yeah, that yeah. totally makes sense, Alex." I feel like no. Everybody does. Okay. I think you, the reason you, you bring it up so much and you have issues with it is because you're doing everything wrong. <laughs> yes, I'm curious. I'm curious on how this is supposed to be done. Same thing in the shower. <laughs> what are you doing in the shower? Yeah, wait, well, what are no, you doing? Okay. What's happening in the shower now? I don't know. Maybe we should save this. <laughs> are you pooping in the shower? <laughs> no. Okay, when you get in the shower, do you take do you use a washcloth? No. I mean, I use a loofah. Would you count that as a washcloth? Kind of. There's a certain ethnicity of person that I've had over before <laughs> <laughs> that like apparently their culture always has a washcloth. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. They use a washcloth over a loofah. Who actually uses a loofah, Connor? Most Nobody people does. use a loofah. Nobody uses a loofah. I, I've never I, even seen a loofah in a think, shower I don't think other a, than a TV show. I don't think loofahs are out of business, so I think somebody's buying them. You don't use a loofah? Where, where, How do you wash your body? Um, I've got like a, like a, it's like a brush. You it's use not, a brush? Like a horse brush? Like a, yeah, like a No, scrubber? it's like a, it seems yeah, it's like a scrubber. With, with like a wooden handle? No. You go between the crack with that? So you use kind of like a loofah. Uh, yeah. yeah, do you clean it, your butt crack with the the brush? No. How do you clean your butt crack? I just put a couple, little bit of soap on my hands. You and use your hands. Credit card. Yeah, okay. So at least you're cleaning the inside of your butt. Mm-hmm. The crack. inside of your butt? Okay. The crack. Okay. <laughs> See, I was going to say. <laughs> you're not like putting your fingers in there with, with some soap <laughs> getting the inside rim. You got a little finger sleeve with yeah. some abrasion on it. To... But like you keep going until nothing comes out so you know your insides are clean. Uh, what What do you use? You don't use a loop? I don't, I don't. I don't scrub my crack. I don't know what you guys are even don't talking Don't tell about. me that. <laughs> you have to get your hand. You got to get your hand in the crack, dude. No. You don't so, put your so, hand okay. in the butt so crack why, you, This might be you, why you have so many issues... On the toilet time no, now no. because you're not cleaning that. Connor, you're telling me how? Okay, how long have you used that loofah? I've been using. A, oh, well, I changed one them specific out. loofah. How long do you use? Oh, it? how long do I use one loofah? Yeah, probably for like three weeks. Three weeks. Okay. Because usually so, what happens is like, I scrub hard with my loof. Like I scrub hard, and it breaks the loofah and it starts to fall. Jeez, that sounds like a. Sounds like an OCD or an anxious convulsion. Well, I'm, like I'm a, washing my body. <laughs> so I'm not, like, like, I'm not like just rubbing lotion on. I'm washing my body. <laughs> so like, yeah, I scrub. 
scrub yeah, every. Yeah, you're not. Derek uses a fucking brush. Okay, hey, hey, hey man, his skin look at off. that finger pointing. <laughs> <laughs> that no, wait, a lot. you're missing. You're missing the point. So you you use that loofah? Yes. To scrub your butt crack. And then do you of course. use it to scrub your armpits? No, and your okay. Face and There's your arm a technique your... okay. to washing a human body. Okay. 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 You s- never start with your ass. Okay. What you do you start always with? start with your hair? You okay. put your soap in your hair. You you and then you let your soap sit in your hair for a little bit, and then you wash your face. You know, I wash my face with what? With, with my hands. With your hands. I okay. don't use the loofah for my face because that's just a lot. I use my hands. I scrub my beard. Uh, you know, I get behind my ears. I get inside my. Ear, I clean my. I clean my body and then I do my arms and I do my, my chest and my, and my back. And then I do my legs. You always do your privates last. Okay. Okay. So, so, so now when you come back to the shower the next day, yeah, I start you're, over. You used, right. You're saying you I used, used it. it. Okay. On first of all, my last. ass is not so then, dirty when I get into the shower. Then why wash it? Okay. <laughs> okay. I want to go. The thing is, a loofah is you rinse the loofah out. I'm not like it when you when I mean, you wash it, your it, dishes, you use a dirty sponge. What, what he's he's trying to throw out. The, I know what he's doing. He, he's throwing. The, <laughs> I know exactly what well, he's doing. Here, here's the problem with it, Alex. Is that it's you're gonna be dirtier either way. Like. If I clean my face and I, I and then I use that same loofah to wipe my ass and then the next day I clean my face, even though it might have a little bit of shit on it, it it's better still, not have any shit on it. <laughs> it, it but like even if you it did, it, it's probably more cl- it's more clean than it was before. And then on top of that, you have like the whole toothbrush in the bathroom scenario. You're always brushing your teeth my with a little bit in of the shower. Poop. I also shower and brush my teeth. I also brush my teeth in the shower. It's really convenient. But it's still in the bathroom. It's not, yeah, yes. as long as it's in the bathroom, it's getting poop on it. Yeah. Because all the. All right, Derek, okay. Get it. You love but to you're say still, that poop is in the okay, air. Okay. Would it. you rather. <laughs> it's like yes. love, love is in the air. Poop is in the air. <laughs> Un- undeniably. It's all love. It's all love. It's poop. There's definitely poop in the air. But would you rather. Would you rather. Um, what would be worse? Flushing the toilet with your mouth open, poop mm-hmm. flying in the air, mm-hmm. your mouth open. I'm listening. Or take a loofah. And scrub your butt crack with it, and then put it in your mouth. Well, I will, I will be putting it in the mouth. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. What's what worse? Is worse. I'm loo- saying the that loofah. the loofah is definitely worse. Yeah, but you. So it's a little different. Yeah, but how are you cleaning your body then? I just take. I just use soap. I just. Are like, you using a soap. bar of just, soap? Or no, you... I put. I have like a liquid soap. Okay. Put it in my hair, and then I just take. First the, of all, I take the. Uh, <laughs> I take the bubbles from the hair, and you go everywhere. No, else. no, you those can't the, do yeah, that. yeah, you, you can't, can't do that. that. Those are dirty bubbles. Because the bubbles, for my hair, the bubbles is the reaction of rubbing in the soap. Oh no, so that's not true. So if you're just true. taking look, this, you're just going like this. Suds, suds, look it up. Suds do not um, have anything to do with the actual cleanliness of of anything. No, no, no. I'm you, not saying that. I'm saying it's just the reaction of like rubbing the soap together. So like, if you're just taking the suds, you're not doing the reaction of scrubbing. You got to scrub your body. I don't think like so. Like when you wash a car, you don't just spray soap on it and spray it with water. You got to scrub the car. Yeah. I take the soap from scrubbing in my hair. Oh, and Alex. <laughs> yeah. that, he just, he's using those to like I spread what, the soap around. I mean, that's kind of why I start with the hair first because oh, it runs down. Right, It's extra. Right. But I'm still taking soap and you can't take liquid soap and scrub your body. That's with why you got to put it in your hair first. Get it sudded up. No, you got to put it. Or, on, or I'll put rag. it on my, my chest patch. Get some. Get the suds that's, going. That's interesting. The, that's, you know. that's a smart way of doing it. You know, you're using that as a. And friction. then you take the suds from that to you know the I soap just, from everything else. I, when it's a liquid, it's just like a, a little puddle in your hand. Like, how do you get that everywhere? You got to get it. Well, that's why you use a rag or a loofah. Got to get it ag- or agitated. a brush. No, I'm still curious about the brush though. Yeah, the brush. Do you also brush your teeth with that brush? No. <laughs> is it like a it's big? The same thing. Is it like a big bristle brush? No, it's like a really soft, like really delicate, like okay. brush. And it's I pretty I, much a loofah. I like on a wh- stick, a loofah on a stick. Yeah. But I don't really use it for um, like my under my armpits or like my crotch. I'll just use my hands for that and just like you know scrub that way. And then that's mostly for like my arms and like legs and stuff. And then like. You know, you just do your hair that, with your hands. So you scrub right. your arms and legs with it. You don't <clears throat> scrub your armpits with it? No. I just, I like, do that. What if you're sweaty? Because that, the smell will carry, doesn't that smell carry off when you come out of the shower still? Not really. Your musk? 
Mm-mm. So you're scrubbing good though with your hands then. Yeah, I, I don't I don't just do this where I like I I'm applying soap. I just don't like apply it. I like I'm doing that. And the I have like a weird anxiety with well, how I I'm do my O C D about how I wash um, my body. So Okay. The way the way I do it is I always try to like I'll scrub and but and then I also leave the soap on there for a little bit to right. scrub another part and I kinda do like yeah. this uh yeah. rotation yeah. so it's like yeah, yeah, it's yeah. staying in there to still mm-hmm. Yeah, I do the same thing. Like, like I'll do my hair first, but before I wash my hair, I'm washing another part. Then I'll once that's done, I rinse out my hair, put the like, the conditioner in, and then I'm on to the next thing and then like You put conditioner the, the in the real question Uh so I've actually found out um You don't really have long hair. Hmm. What were you finding out? Uh, that you shouldn't really use uh, shampoo every day. Yeah, it's right. It's better to do like conditioner every day and then shampoo yeah, you're every not once in su- a while. You're not supposed to wash your hair every day. Mm-hmm. I don't wash my hair every day. I take a shower every day, but I don't always use soap every day. Yeah. Well, you mean for your hair, or do you just mean like in general? In general. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wear deodorant. We gotta either. stop. Uh, we gotta no, no. sit hey, you down. Th- wait. <laughs> we gotta sit you down through a health class or something <laughs> for like body cleanliness. No, no. How to wipe now, your ass? How to <laughs> clean? The real inside. question is you with dry? the shower. Oh God! Hang on. This is a huge subject for me. Ooh, I know. When you what get out of the shower. This. Do you dry your private parts off? And how not the do crack. you do it? Not the crack. You got it. You have to. You, <laughs> no. It's so important Air that dry. you do that. Because no, it's no, a no. dark, warm place, bro, inside your ha- pants. You're just growing. There's no mold in there, I promise oh, you. Oh, you're growing <laughs> stench in there, though. There's no, no, no. Did no. I ever tell I use a blow dryer. <laughs> These guys know it. I think every oh. guy should be doing this. If you're do not, you also comb your butt hair with that? Like, no, geez. I trim my butt hair. Oh. Uh, if... What I do is I grab you grab your dick and you you're, you cup your balls and you blow dry under your your gooch and then you blow dry your crack. Wow! And you thought I was the one that had weird. That's like, not manners. weird, bro. <laughs> so weird. That's not weird. <laughs> Trust hey, me, hey, Connor, that is Connor, listen, far listen. more normal than leaving your ass wet. Listen, you're doing this. Where do you do this at? Do you do it in, in my bathroom. Okay, where the poop particles are floating in the air. <laughs> Derek, it's foot poop right well, onto I'm, his foot. I'm blowing them away, though, with the blow dryer. No, it's <laughs> stuck in the air. It's, it's, like, it's sucking it's, it in and blowing it out. It's, just, it's like, okay, do you go to a public bathroom and use those hand dryers? Every time I see no, that, I do nasty. not. I don't use But those. that's what you're doing to your genitals. Yeah, but I'm drying them is what I'm saying. Yeah, it's just like a hand dryer there, dries the hand. There yeah, are, it's my bathroom. There Still are, poop. It's just my poop. You got some hepatitis floating around in there or something. There could mm-hmm. be. You have a girl ever come over? I mean, no. who knows? No, <laughs> there's no girl coming over. Uh, I mean, there are Mitchell? some... Mitchell? Mitchell's probably going to give you hepatitis. <laughs> Mitchell probably give me a ringworm through his yeah. butt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there are some of the like hand dryers at restaurants and stuff or public places where they're pulling air from... Outside. Allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly. Well, like, if you don't see where the It's really is... just coming from the vent above or something. <laughs> <laughs> the exhaust vent. <laughs> yeah. They're just like, man, I'm tired of people saying this. Yeah. <laughs> saying this. Thing. I, uh... No, the real question is, you get out of the shower, and a sudden onset of poop comes on, what do you do? Like, you have to take a shit? You have to take a shit, right? It, oh, I'll take it, a wet shit on that toilet. It depends. I okay. hate doing it, but boy. Oh, it's the worst. If, yeah. Um... It's hard to stay on the seat when you're yeah, that slippery. You're slipping yeah. around. <laughs> I think you it don't also, know. I don't think it, it also I, feels weird too. Yeah, you don't yeah. know if like you're actually in the like if you're. Getting well, your then poop if something the drips on you, you're like, is that water or is that poop water? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh well, I have that. You don't like when you poop and it drops it in, a little water Ooh, comes up. Oh, that's and the worst. Kisses that's you. That's the worst. Poseidon's kiss. Uh, sometimes I'm like, bro, that's dirty water. Like mm. I'm just like, there's already poop in there, so it's like that's poop water. Here yeah, but. I or like RP too, like you pee a little bit yeah. and now poop well, in water. Well, when I when I've I sit down, pee. oh yeah, after you you mean you like you've already peed in there and yeah. then you poop and then it touches your butt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, when you, I sit it's... down in the toilet and I pee, uh, you because you poop, you know, like I'm gonna pee, right? I put my wiener out and pee it into the. I don't pee it into the toilet. I pee it on the floor. What? What did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> in what scenario are you talking about? I just peed into the shower because I can reach the shower from my toilet. Oh, uh, nice. So I don't mix the two evils. Yeah, you know, as I, that stream gets cut off, it drips all the way around your floor. You know, when I was- Yeah, a, it like, it's like a- Yeah, so you pee all over your floor. It when, happens. 
You, when I was and a, he wants to give me a hygiene class. He's peeing on his bathroom floor. <laughs> and then just, in, this, in the floor, in the floor that he has pee sitting on, Bro, tell he's me. taking his hair dryer Alex, and blowing. You his, said in this blow, podcast you don't clean the inside crevices. of your butt crack in the shower. Okay. No, I use toilet paper for that. No. I, if a bird shits on you, are you going to use a wet paper towel or a wet wipe, or are you going to use a dry paper okay. towel? Where's your bidet then? You use a bidet everywhere you go. I don't have a bidet I I at all. Bidet. Okay, I, I do wish. So I had when one. you poop, you use you use dry paper, dry. Uh, yeah, I know. That's it's just the it's just the argument. I'm just like, saying yeah, that like when you're in the shower, for your shower of the day, you got to get something in that crack, Alex. Well, you know, sometimes I'll pull them apart and you know put the stream stream in there. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> the I mean. rinse down. <laughs> uh, you know, back in, back when I was younger, I thought like a bidet. I thought it was always shooting the water like in. The, like poopy Ooh. and pee water. I was you're, like, you're I don't know like wh- an enema. what. Yeah, I was like, I don't know why people want to do that. But then I found out it's like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait, well, wait, like wait. In stop. movies and TV shows, they stop. don't show you that it's like a little nozzle. That it just always looked like it's just water coming out. So I was always just like, oh, it's just like shooting that water up. Okay. Oh, now, that's interesting. <clears throat> now you use a bidet, and now. Are you, if you used a bidet, would you get your hair dryer out to clean to dry yourself? Yeah, because he, he's, yes. he's talking about when after he showers. The reason, I know, I know. He cleans I'm himself. Saying, I'm still, saying, but your okay. butt crack's wet. He, yes. So but, then after you use a bidet, your butt crack would be wet. Oh. So yes. do you, how do you dry okay. that? Actually, I've, that's a really I've, interesting... I've thought about this m- multiple times. If I use a bidet, I'm wiping with toilet paper using the bidet, and then I'm wiping again to wipe that water Okay, off. that's excessive, but... It is, it what is I'm excessive, saying, but... Listen to this, though. Your Have you ever taken toilet paper and wiped your arm while it's wet or something like if if the toilet paper itself is wet like if something is too wet and you use toilet paper on it it like dissolves instantly yeah mm-hmm. you're gonna have so many okay well first of all if anybody's just using the bidet just to wipe your ass and not <laughs> using toilet paper or something before the bidet you're using the bidet wrong no you want you want it to like knock the cake off Bro, like I'm telling you, that's thing. not. <laughs> yeah. That is not what they're for. Okay, there's no way that's what they're for. To just do the full wipe for you. I don't know. I've never used a bidet. I've never used one either. But I mean, like, I haven't either. There's no way they're engineering a thing to be like, okay, this just gets rid of toilet paper. Well, yeah. Then during the pandemic, you didn't need to get all your toilet paper. Mm-hmm. That's it. You know. So true. That stuff was selling like hotcakes. Yeah, but everyone that had a bidet was laughing. <laughs> yeah, they're like, they're like, so like look at these losers. <laughs> no, not a chance, dude. Well, I think that's a pretty good stopping point to <laughs> move on to the after show. Uh, Alex, is there anything you want to plug? I don't know <clears throat> if you really want to be associated with this. No, actually, take can you blur my face? Actually, <laughs> <laughs> just poop talk. <laughs> Everybody poops. Everybody showers. Yeah. Right, Maybe, Derek? You know, you we, there's poop? probably somebody out there that we're helping yeah, but by ev- having this conversation. Yeah. But, but everyone does something embarrassing, too, and they don't talk about it. I didn't do anything I just talked about was not embarrassing. Me using a blow dryer to properly clean my body is not embarrassing. Okay, why do you say blow... I can't even say it like you do. It's like you have a J. Like, you almost say blow job and then say no, dryer. Blow, blow dryer. It's, it's almost a, a J. Say, do you hear it? No. Blow I dryer. Don't. Okay, look, you guys listen to, listen to Mitchell say umpen for 10 years before I pointed it out, and you guys are like, yeah, he actually does say umpen. That is true. Well, well we all like, noticed it, we, we all, all noticed it, but we were like, all right. All right. All right. All right. I think he's doing this on purpose, but it yeah. turns out he wasn't. And it was just funny when you finally brought it up, we were like, you know what? Yeah, <laughs> this is, we're tired of this. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't do it anymore. Oh, we trained him out of it. But now yeah. we just need to get Colson to say umpen. We literally made fun of him so much, he stopped saying a word that way. Yeah, because he, he was like, I have to start pronouncing it correctly. All right, we do need and, to end the episode, though. We can go into the other thing. Guys, thank you for watching. Uh, we're going to go into the after show, and if you want to participate in that, you got to head over on to our uh, Patreon. This one's going to be shorter than the last one. The last one went on too long. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, we don't, we don't know when the last one is because this, you know, this, this is going to be a backup episode. This isn't going That's up true. tomorrow. That's true. Never mind. So, uh, All right. Surprise. See you. See you. All right. See, see you over there. See you there.